where we want to go as a city, I, I see that in Arrival. I'm so excited to see how these two disruptors, these two pioneers can come together and really create this change. Hi, I'm Vi Lowes and I'm mayor of the great city of Charlotte, North Carolina. When I was a child growing up, the idea of a clean community wasn't even on anyone's radar. We built lots of highways, we spent millions of dollars, and today we wrestle with that. I want a city where everyone from all walks of life can afford to live. Have the ability to get from home to work and still have a quality of life that's necessary for their own self-fulfillment. That sense of community that's grounded in housing, good work, and the way to move around. I'm Mike. I lead uh, Arrival Automotive. That's the uh, division within Arrival that's responsible for the sales and manufacturing of our Arrival vehicles all over the world. As we work in partnership with the city of Charlotte to develop these new solutions, I think it's really important that a variety of stakeholders are involved. Certainly that includes elected public officials. It, it includes the people that work at, in city government and in the city transit authority. And then certainly it, it must be supported by private companies as well. So my name is Taiwo Jayaba. I'm the city's planning director. I provide leadership support to the Charlotte Area Transit System. About two years or so ago, our city council adopted a strategic energy action plan that says that our city will be carbon neutral by 2050. At the core of it should be how are we serving the people who need it the most. Everyone should have the benefit of being able to use it to take them to work, to get them to the doctor, or even from housing to school. Personally for me, that's why I'm passionate about equity in transportation. Arrival has definitely taken a huge step in that direction. We want to make sure everyone in the city has access to transportation, and we do that in a very equitable way. So we can use data from our vehicles with the city to improve the transit system inside of the city. If you have a transit bus that is not connected, you don't know exactly how many people are riding it, how many people are getting on and off at each stop. That's all data that we can collect through our vehicles and then upload into the cloud for later analysis and use by the city transit officials as they look how to improve and better optimize the transit network. So my name is Fran West. I am an assistant director for the Economic Development Department at the City of Charlotte. When I think about Arrival and I think about the city, they have a lot in common from, they're both progressive. What Arrival will do to build their vehicles, both in the city and in our region, it changes the perception of transportation. Charlotte is where we're starting, and so it's, it's so important to us how supportive the city has been as we've entered into these conversations, because obviously everything we learn working with Charlotte, we're going to be able to take forward as we work with other cities around the country. My name is Eileen Kai. I'm a vice president of a business recruitment at the Charlotte Regional Business Alliance. I think the Charlotte Arrival Partnership can be a catalyst for achieving city and region's sustainability, mobility, connectivity goals. Um, arrival can be part of that force. They are not only thinking about the vision for a cleaner community, they care about jobs and the people that work there. The manufacturing sector employs 150,000 jobs in the Charlotte region. So manufacturing is very important to us. And the fact that Rival is really tapping into region strengths in automotive parts, advanced materials, I think that's something very exciting. We have this idea of distributed manufacturing. So our microfactory is there in the community. We have arrival employees that are an integral part of the community. 
We have a self-interest in making the communities where our employees live and work better. I'm Sarah Hazel, Chief Sustainability and Resiliency Officer for the City of Charlotte. As we continue to grow and we're a growing city, our issue with carbon emissions only becomes compounded. Shared goals around sustainability, I think, made Arrival and Charlotte a perfect match. It's about 40% of Charlotte's emissions are from transportation alone. And so if we can really start to aggressively tackle that piece of the pie, um, I think we will be laying a foundation uh, for a lower carbon future. Being able to partner with uh, a company that is in this space that's innovating, that is also looking to continue to innovate and to embrace technology um, is, is so critical because we can't, we can't do what we are setting out to do without those types of partners really pushing the envelope. It's not too late to make a really big difference. We know that um, our future is really about a clean environment. I believe intensely that we can help people. We need to get at this. We need to start improving that experience. To debut a future. We take things head on. We all challenge the status quo. Cities really have to step up. We want to be a city of today, but we also want to be a city that plans for the future generations to come. We're here to create change and leave this place better than we found it.